students have a lot of choices about how to clip a source using Evernote Web Clipper. When they come across something they'd like to save in Evernote, they should click the icon for the Web Clipper. That's the elephant in the add-ons bar. Now they've got several choices to decide between. They have to decide which of the choices will be more useful given the material they're clipping. In this case, uh, suppose the student wants to clip a still from this YouTube video on the making of the movie True Grit. If they choose Article, only the text that's not shaded out will be captured. In this case, you might notice that there's no text that's not shaded out, so nothing of use. By clicking Simplified Article, they'll get, again, not much good, um, enough to identify the source, and it would come with a link so that they could follow it back, um, but this is, a, this is suboptimal. Um, when they click on Full Page, everything within the green box will be saved. Um, and as a matter of fact, the full page um, of text for the, for, the, for the web page in this case. Now that may be a little bit of overkill, um, but is pretty good for capturing a screenshot, particularly of a page that might be dynamic and that might change before the student comes back to it. If they want a minimal clip that will allow them to identify what they're getting but uh, and follow back to the to the source. Um, a bookmark is a good idea. Now bookmarks aren't always useful on subscription databases because a simple bookmark will not um, get back into an authorized session. Now in this case the student wants a screenshot and so by clicking on screenshot you're able to select any part of the screen that you want clipped in. Um, this is very handy for video clips. And so here we've got a, a, a picture um, of the actress playing Maddie in True Grit. Um, now we have some options. We could annotate um, on the picture using a variety of tools here if we wanted to. We can decide how we want to organize this screenshot. Um, by clicking on this, we would see all of the notebooks that are available to the student, so including all of them that have been shared to them. They can also click on Add Tag and add any tag that they would like. Um, it allows up to 100 tags in the free version. Um, they can also add notes. Um, relatively easily. Um, however, it is easy after clipping to reorganize, to add more tags or change tags, and to add notes. Um, so if they forget to do it at the moment of clipping, that's really not that big of a deal. So by clicking Save, we get a confirmation notice that tells us where the note's gone, and it is shared up to the cloud now, so uh, they can access it from their account from any of their devices.